if the cutter is large, such as face blade cutter, then you have to use a larger hammer. Larger the cutter is, larger the hammer must be, and so as the accelerometer must be larger too. Connect the accelerometer to channel 1 and hammer to channel 0, as shown on the video. Then, using the sledgehammer, you will measure the machine. Launch the Cut Pro by clicking on Multi F. Then, make sure that signals are operational. Click on the settings icon to enter calibration factors of the hammer and accelerometer. The orange fields must be completed. White fields are for documentation. The frequency range for the large hammer will be typically a low, very low frequency such as 10 Hz to about 500 Hz. The lower frequencies belong to machine tool modes. Higher frequencies belong to spindle and the tool. Start the measurement by clicking Start. Each time the measurement is good, then you will hear the sound. If it's incorrect, the lady will warn you that the measurement was not Measurement good. is completed. Now repeat the measurement in Y direction. You need these measurements when you run machining simulation. And this is the end of tap testing.